Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking another look at CMU's Vulkan API backend. This time, it's very latest release, Work in Progress 5. Now, I know I said in my last Vulkan video, I was going to take a look at Work in Progress 4 once it released, but when it did, it was pretty damn unstable, meaning that there was practically no point in testing it because nobody was going to use that version anyway due to those instabilities. So in this video, I am going to be testing AMD Vulkan vs OpenGL and I'm also going to be comparing the performance between AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. The two GPUs I'm going to be using are for AMD, I'm using an RX 580 4GB and for NVIDIA, I am using a GTX 1060 6GB graphics card. Now, one thing I do want to note in this video is that for both OpenGL and Vulkan on both AMD and Nvidia, I am using the setting GX2 Drawdown, which can, as you may know, drastically decrease performance when you enable it. But unfortunately, in this CMU 1.16.0 work in progress version, you are required to have this setting turned on, or Vulkan just doesn't work at all either on AMD or Nvidia. So now that all that info is out of the way, let's jump straight into the video and start things off with taking a look at AMD GPU performance when using OpenGL versus when using Vulkan. So this is pretty much where Vulkan is beginning to shine even in this very early implementation of Vulkan on CMU. As you can see in our benchmark numbers in the top of the window, Vulkan is pretty much double the performance of the OpenGL backend using this RX 580. Now, I also want to make you aware of the other specs of the computer being used for this benchmark test. I am using an 8700K, which is currently clocked at 4.7 GHz, and I am also using 32 GB of 3466 MHz RAM. Another thing I want to make note of is the fact that due to the fact that the Vulkan backend currently doesn't support resolution graphics packs, all of these tests are being carried out at the base or native resolution of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we are running it at 1280 by 720p. So if you were wondering why it looks a little bit rough around the edges and worse than the usual gameplay footage I upload, this lower resolution is the reason for that. So coming to the end of my benchmark run on the Great Plateau, we can very clearly see that Vulkan is absolutely destroying OpenGL in respect to performance. And when you consider that this backend is still in its very early days of implementation, this is super, super promising for any AMD GPU users out there. Let's move along right now and take a look at AMD Vulkan versus Nvidia Vulkan. As I said at the start of this video, the AMD GPU I'm using for testing is an RX 580 4GB, while the Nvidia GPU is a GTX 1060 6GB. Now, as I said previously, the Vulkan backend is still in its infancy, and for this reason, on Nvidia GPUs, you can still expect to see a lower performance than you would be getting when using OpenGL. Regardless of this, it's still pretty cool to see the fact that AMD is so much closer to Nvidia in respect to performance, and it's really, really cool to see this happening because for anybody who doesn't know, due to AMD's absolutely atrocious OpenGL driver support on Windows, Nvidia GPUs have been absolutely killing AMD ones for performance. Now, AMD GPU users have always had the option of using Linux and the Mesa driver since using that combination of operating system and driver could net you a nice boost of about 50% versus Windows. However, since not everyone is comfortable with installing a second operating system or just using Linux on its own, it's pretty amazing to see the performance boosts AMD GPU users are going to be able to attain on this Vulkan backend. So to put performance in context between this AMD GPU and this Nvidia one, let's now take a look at the performance difference between AMD Vulkan and Nvidia OpenGL currently. So as I said a little bit earlier on, performance when using OpenGL when you're an NVIDIA GPU user is still quite a sizable amount ahead of Vulkan. Now it's nowhere near as big a gap as we were previously seeing on AMD's OpenGL backend, but there is still a pretty big performance gap between this 1060 and this RX 580. 
To reiterate what I've already said twice in this video though, Vulcan is still very, very young and I have absolutely no doubt that in the coming weeks and months, however long it takes for it to be perfected, it is going to be even better and even more performant. Lots of people I have been talking with in the last few days have even speculated that AMD Vulcan performance may even overthrow Nvidia's OpenGL for the performance crown in CMU. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at some very demanding areas in Breath of the Wild being run on this RX 580. You are in fact going to see a very interesting bug just as we land in this area, the Hateno Ruins. From time to time, you are going to experience exactly what you just saw, that very weird blue hue, and regardless of what settings I changed, there is pretty much nothing I could do to stop it from happening. However, looking at the performance numbers, this is absolutely awesome. We are attaining an almost locked 60 frames per second once our shaders have been cached. Again, to put this into perspective, if I was using OpenGL in this exact same area, my performance levels would be much closer to around 24 or 25 frames per second, absolutely nowhere near 60. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows on Vulcan Work in Progress 5 either. On AMD GPUs, there are some fairly significant crashing bugs that can happen in gameplay. One of which happens if you try to cut down a tree with any weapon, Another happens if you destroy any of the small guardians inside of the shrines, and the third can happen if you perform a sword smash with pretty much any weapon. Now on OpenGL, this exact same thing does actually happen with AMD GPUs, however there is a graphics pack called AMD Crash Workaround that solves this, and unfortunately at least right now there is no such graphics pack to fix this issue on Vulkan. Again, swapping over to yet another very demanding area in Breath of the Wild, this is the Hyrule Castle Ruins, and again, similarly to the Hateno Ruins, you can see that we are getting an almost perfectly locked 60 frames per second, aside from some small drops down to around 54 or 55 again when caching shaders. As many of you know, this area, the Hyrule Castle Ruins, is one of the most demanding areas by far in Breath of the Wild, so to see 60 frames per second here and on an AMD GPU is absolutely awesome. Nvidia GPU users have for a long time in areas like this, especially with very powerful CPUs, been at 60 frames per second, so it's pretty damn amazing to see AMD getting these kind of performance numbers here now as well. And as Vulkan improves and gets even more progress in its development, we are almost guaranteed to see even more performance improvements. As always, as soon as any of these changes happen to the emulator, I will be sure to let you guys know as soon as I possibly can. So now that we have an actual, functional and stable version of CMU Vulkan, I can continue with my compatibility and performance testing of other games. So if you haven't already done so in any of my previous videos, please make sure to leave any games you would like to see me test down in the comments section. As always, if I already have that game or if I can buy it somewhere for cheap, I will do so and test that game out for you absolutely no problem at all. Again, at the end of this video, I want to give an absolutely enormous thank you to all of my supporters over on Patreon.com. You guys are absolutely awesome and if anyone out there would like to help with the day-to-day -day running of BSOD Gaming, please consider heading to the Patreon link in this video's description and pledging to support. These pledges help to pay for things like electricity bills, water bills, internet bills, games for testing and absolutely everything else required for the maintenance and running of a YouTube channel. So to all past, present and potential future supporters, thank you guys very, very much. Hopefully all of you found this video as interesting to watch as I found it to make. If you did, remember to hit the like button down below and if you want to see future videos from me and get notified of all of my future uploads, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon down below. I'm going to leave you guys with some raw gameplay of Breath of the Wild running on this RX 580 where in this entire battle with this Silver Lionel, I am trying my best to get the frame rate to drop as low as I possibly can. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day and I will see you in the next one.
Rivali's Gale is now ready.